Yesterday we discussed coming up with the original plan and, and different land uses, example the, the cattle or, or timber management or crop ground. And so that is the beginning. The next step is to look at the map and determine your terrain features and where you want to put those buck beds as your beginning to your travel corridor. So I feel it's very important to understand how big deer use terrain features and we will discuss a little bit of that with this map. Piece of property, um, a topo map to go along with that is a very helpful map also. In this situation what I have done is situated these bedding areas with this being north and this our dominant wind in the fall out of the west. This is our best bedding area. This would be number two number three and number four. So on this property with crops surrounding the entire property, what I have done is trails from bed to bed over top of what the deer, the big bucks actually want to do. So I cannot be wrong. And I learned this originally by sitting in this, this 75 foot tower here and observing this and then flagging these routes and then come back and enhance these travel corridors. Each one of these is a hilltop, and I've positioned the beds a third of the way down. So to learn exactly how big deer use a property, or terrain features that is, um, you could go into the Marine Corps Infantry for a few years and, and learn about mapping, or a very good book that's out right now, or the best book I have seen is Mapping Trophy Bucks with with Brad Herndon. Um, I've read this book a couple Three of times. top counties in the United States being Buffalo County, Wisconsin, Pike County, Illinois, and Alamakee County, Iowa are all um, hilly country and on the Mississippi River corridor. Typically what I have seen is a lot of older age class bucks in hilly country because people don't understand exactly how to hunt it. You know, a buck is gonna bed out on the end of a point and majority of the people want to walk out on the end of that point because it's a lot of sign there and it's easy access for them. But what they do is they dive off to that point and come up to another one so they can stand there and watch that deer. And I call this point hopping. But there is a lot of other terrain features that you should hunt also. And they would be open field saddles, um, timbered saddles, uh, inside corners, double inside corners, hilltop um, benches, converging hubs, but again there's just a lot of different terrain features. You know, a field funnel like this would be a, an ultimate funnel. So there's a lot of different terrain features that I can go on public land across the Midwest, not even scout that land, and go in there and hunt the first day and have a high success rate. Thank you.